to make a saris. It's a beautiful, tedious art, but very symbolic also. And you just go in and out. This is going to go really fast and not look so pretty because the pot is not working. Um, and I think just before you, nobody even knows you're in your mommy's womb. At first you don't see anything. And as you grow, you start being. And people start seeing first your mom and all these beautiful things that are happening within her. And you have your asar, unopened, untouched, very beautiful and very clean. So we just take eight or ten little pieces of very easy. And I like to use lots of paper, different paper, if I may. Any paper that, that I get from the baker with a little spray paint. Uh, packaging and apples that people give to me. And I believe in giving chances and believing in people and in things, you know, that are uh, to others worth it and are going to throw it away. So we cut our papers into little pieces, 10 or more if you want. I just cut a little corner here. Very easy cuts. You curl each corner very gently, just like you want to be touched. So does the paper, because otherwise it'll tear or bake or whatever. But if you're very gentle and very loving to it, nobody can resist to love. I have seen the worst people in my life do things to me or say things to me or whatever. and. You just continue to love them anyway with a purity and chastity that our church has taught us or my parents did to me and my brothers and sisters. And you take, and I think everything has a heart. You take two together. Doesn't matter how they look, even the torn one. It's worth it to put it in there. It'll look beautiful. So there's the rose's heart. And I choose a rose because she's so forgiving. I have been doing flowers for to fight, uh, my little silent and beautiful fight against domestic violence. And even the hole will help me there, you know, when I'm bruised. Maybe not in my body, but how about my heart? Now we put three little petals around. They come as little friends. I like that, that word. I love it very much. I have very many acquaintances or people that I know, but I have very, very few friends. Again, that helped me with my domestic violence. Do not tear, do not pull at me because you, know, you don't know what's happening to me. And I incorporate that into my art and to my people. And I think I have married most of Nisa when I was doing this as a young woman. Then we put our wire over, around. This is very important because if we don't have a long tail and a very tight wire, we will lose it into our pot. We need wax of 125 or 30 degrees. Hotter, we cannot get any wax on our flour. We will put a, a thicker wire on its side and then put our wonderful floral tape. Did you buy, buy at the craft store? To cover your wire and make your stem. This paper that I'm working with is not the paper that I usually do, although you can 
Use any kind of paper and turn it into beautiful flowers. This is too, too thin. It does not have the right body, but that's all I could find. So you take it by your very close to the, to the paper, submerge it in there, shake it up and down until it gives you no more wax. If you don't do this, then you will have uh, lots of wax in, inside. inside and they will t go to whatever side they, they want. Bring it up and let it get cold to your touch. And if you have the right temperature, which I don't right now, three times and you will have porcelain-like flowers that you can even wash. Wow. And um, my mother would embroider crochet for the, for the church, for the altars, to put the cloths to go on the altars. And uh, they just would talk to us about how it was in Mexico and uh, that we should keep our, our, our traditions. They, they used to tell us that when they brought us over here, my sister and I, all we need to carry was in our hearts. It was not heavy. And you didn't need to carry with your hands. You had it in your heart. To give the flavor to wherever you were, by the person you were, the best that you could. He w my mom would be uh, grinding the corn on the grinding stone, and he would get some masa off of it and say, this is you. And for a heart, he would put a chile. And he says, this is the fire in your heart. So use it everywhere you go. You do the best that you can. That's your essence, that's your flavor, and that's it. And now I think, just as people want a real diamond, there's no better diamond than you. Authentic, pure, the best that you can at our times. Our, root, our roots are, should never dry. They should never, never, never die. Bring the essence of the pest to the 2000s now and further on. <laughs>